In this video, let's talk about remote camera control with Bitbox. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible, Blackmagic and Atomos. And now back to the video. All right, I'm here with Curtis from Bitpart. Curtis, good to see you. Uh, so yeah, tell me what we've got going on here with uh, Bitbox. Sure, uh, it's a wireless camera control uh, protocol. Um, on set, you arrive and Wi-Fi is like, everyone comes into one spot and Wi-Fi just doesn't work, it stops working. So a lot of cinema cameras now have an app to control the camera. And when the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can't, you know, sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't work. And it's something we've been struggling with for five years. Three of us that started the company are DITs and we face this problem all the time. So we search for a solution to the problem and slowly started developing it. And we've gotten really serious lately and finally created the BitBox, which works uh, on 900 megahertz. Uh, so it cuts through all the noise on set, all the wireless lights, all that stuff. So you have full control of the camera at all times. So when the, everything, you know, when the sun's going down or something like that, and everyone's um, kind of panicked, uh, it's one less thing to worry about. It may, it'll definitely help me sleep at night. <laughs> And so, yeah, well, so this box is going to be uh, directly on the camera. Like, walk you through how that's set up. Yeah, yeah. so you need two boxes. You need one at the DIT card or maybe a focus station, and then you need one on each camera. So the box itself has a switch that you can switch between remote and base. And once you do that, then you just push and hold the pairing button on both. Okay. It's a... And so the box, it's the same exact box. You just same exact decide if it's going to be the base or the remote. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So this is transmitting from the camera, and this is our... Correct. Station. We're only doing uh, IP protocols uh, over our box. It's only sending data to control the camera. The wireless video is a separate system. Okay. We're not doing wireless video. Okay. So um, what data are you getting out of the camera? Uh, everything. You have, you have full control over changing ISO, uh, color temperature. If the camera had ND, you could change the ND filter. You can change, change the frame rate. Every setting that you can change on the camera, you can change with our system. You can do it on an iPad using the camera manufacturer app. So each camera manufacturer has an app to control their camera or a, a web-based GUI, which you can go to um, with Safari or whatever uh, on your computer, your iPad, whatever. And then we're also showing with the new uh, Small HD Ultra 7, uh, it's connected over Ethernet and you have full control and full access to the menus with their um, camera control in the monitor. And the box has a switch in it, so it allows you to have multiple network connections at the same time. So in this example, this one box is allowing um, camera control with this monitor and with this iPad at the same time. Okay, and so this is running Ethernet out of the box into the small HD monitor, and then are your USB-C into, into the our iPad? Yep. yep. Okay, exactly. and that's what's getting the signal to control Correct. our camera from either one. Yep. Okay. Uh, and you can have multiple boxes paired um, we've also, yeah, so can you, uh, what's the, can you, if you have one camera, can you have multiple receivers? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So typically on a, on a movie or a commercial or whatnot, you have at least two cameras, probably three, four, and there's no problem with having that many. So I can show you the, uh, the boot time and some other things that we've, uh, integrated into the box. I can just take my phone and I can plug it in. Uh, let me show you the angle here. So I can plug this in, and you'll see three flashes, three, two, one, and now it's booted, and it's, it's communicated on the network. And then you can see, if you go to settings on your iPhone, you now have an Ethernet controller, and you can see BitBox right there. You can set up your IP, and now you're able to control the camera as well. So obviously the phone is currently supplying power to the box, but you can plug in a two-pin Limo, and it will provide power to the box, and it'll charge the device it's connected to. Not not a, a lot, but enough to charge an iPhone or a, a small iPad. Okay, so you don't have to worry about multiple Correct. power connections. You can just kind of have one plug, yes. power source. That's great. Um, and so, yeah, what's the kind of pricing and availability? Uh, sure, we, with it? We, we're open for pre-orders. Uh, we're, we're slated to start production on our first run for those. Uh, we release pricing. It's 1500 per box. You need two. Okay. Um, so 3000 to to buy uh, a set of two. But if you buy more, which most people will, uh, we're, we're giving a little incentive, a little discount. So okay. up to five units, it drops the price of each box to twelve fifty. Okay. Uh, where can people find out more? Uh, bitpart.com. Great. Well, thank you so much. Yep. Should. No problem. And that is it for this episode. Be sure to check out the rest of our NAB coverage over here at this playlist and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next episode.